So sure about what, Dad? About Carson. He doesn't stack up. To what? As a suspect. Don't put avocado on the burger. What? Simple is always best. Look, Carson killed Jordan and Atlanta. Then those two degenerates at Crazy Betty's motel. Hell, he even tried to kill you, didn't he? Have you forgotten that? But Carson was a coke dealer. Why would he want to kill his clients? And what would be his motive for killing Alana and Jordan and the Moorwood girl? It doesn't make sense, sir. I'm sorry. There you go again. Now you're piling hummus on top of the burger, too. What if he was punishing them? He knew Alana was cheating on her husband. He knew that Frank and Goldie were making porn. And who would know all that? Someone they knew. Someone they trusted. You mean like a drug dealer? Sir, a drug dealer with morals? Come on. All right, I read Brenda's magazine. Christmas, the number one holiday for people going nuts. That's motive enough for me. This podcast is not safe for work and will feature movie spoilers. It will feature scenes described of a graphic nature. It will contain language which most listeners may find offensive. Welcome to the podcast Under the Stairs. Welcome back to another one of those Silent Night in Pieces episodes from the podcast Under the Stairs. This is a sub-series that we take a movie, in the case of this one here, festively themed, Silent Night from 2012. We cut it up into five-minute reviewable segments. I get guests on from around the world to join me in said five-minute reviews. And then I take the order which would be linear and make sense and muddle them up purely for my entertainment and not for anyone else's. This can't be a satisfying listen, can it? Do you enjoy these? Maybe. Do I enjoy recording them? Yes. On this episode, we are looking at minute 60 through 65. This one will open with the mayor outside his house and a shot of Santa holding an axe. It will close out at the 65 minute mark with a character that I've called Not Quite Jay from Jay and Silent Bob um, looking at his girlfriend Tiffany and saying, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't in the bathroom. Oh, see? Mystery and intrigue. Um, Let's just get into this. When it's just me, because this is a double Duncan episode with no guests, I like to roll through these as quick as possible. Give you some time back, give me some time back. So we kick this one off at minute 60 outside the mayor's house and we see a wide shot of Santa holding an axe. The mayor comes out to have a smoke and his little daughter comes out behind him. The little girl says, Daddy, you promised you'd stop smoking. And the mayor turns around and says, I will, honey bunch. January 1st, it'll be my New Year's resolution. And the girl looks up longingly to her father and says, I love you. And the mayor says, at least one of my girls is still sweet. Now you go get ready for bed, okay? And the little girl says, only if you say goodnight. And the mayor's like, I will. And she turns around and starts walking out. The mayor is having a stressful day. He takes a big old toke on that cigarette. And at that point, Tiffany... The adult actress daughter of the, <laughs> the sheriff, uh, of the of the mayor, comes out and she comes out with her bratty boyfriend that I've called Not Quite Jay from Jay and Silent Bob and she's like, come here. And the mayor's like, what are you doing out here? And Not Quite Jay says, Tiffany says, you finished the guest house. And the mayor's like, it's a doozy. Two bedrooms and a full bath. Um, Tiffany says, I'm going to show him. And the mayor is like, make it snappy. The mayor cannot read between the lines here. He's clearly going to have sex, but he doesn't see that. Uh, He's like, make it snappy. And she's like, oh yeah. And then the mayor's like, I want us all to drive into town for the parade. Obviously, minus their little girl, who he's just sent to bed. Just saying this might be a plot hole in the movie. Um, But anyway, uh, (laughs) Tiffany winks at her dad. She's like, this won't take long. And they disappear. And he's still he's desperate to finish this cigarette. And as he's trying to get some relief, 
the lights go out on the porch. Um, and as he's trying to fix it, his mobile phone goes off. And he's like, ah, oh, Jesus. And he answers the phone, and it's the sheriff. And the sheriff's like, Mayor Revy, hi, sir. I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. And the mayor's like, Merry Christmas, sheriff, to you and the whole department. Thanks for another year of keeping our town safe. And he just gets the word safe out. And then Santa springs up behind him with a string of Christmas lights, which he festoons around the neck of the mayor and then garrots him. And we get a protracted scene of him kind of, kind of struggling on the other end of the phone, which the sheriff, with a keen investigative intellect, does not pick this up as the sound of someone choking. The sheriff continues to talk. He says, I wanted to talk to you about that, sir. We have reasons to believe that we have a serial killer at large in our community. Yes. I know, sir. It is shocking. I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that this maniac doesn't strike again. Meanwhile, he's been strangled. Uh, you're breaking up, sir. I can't. Hello? 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 <laughs> bloody cell phones. Like the bloody cell phones because these accents which he's in and out of English. And uh, the mayor is now dead. He is dead. And we're going to cut to the guest house where Tiffany has not quite G on a bed. And she's hanging over him. Tiffany says, poor Santa Claus, giving out a million gifts, which is cutting the population of the world down dramatically. I can get the feeling that Tiffany maybe didn't study. Uh, maybe maybe her intellect was not her keen assets. I say assets because they're on display here. Oh my God. Um, uh, she's like, I'm never getting anything in return except stale cookies. And not quite Jay's like, it's true. Santa gets shafted. And Tiffany says, well... It's time to give it back. I'm going to lighten Santa's sack. And then she drops her head. He starts making some funny faces. She brings her head up and she says, Looks like Santa's going to come early this year. And then there's a noise. And she stops. And she's like, Oh, shit, is that my dad? And not quite Jay's like, Don't stop. Grabs her head and then thrusts it between his legs. Because... Say what you want about Jay. This, this boy is a Casanova. Um... The kind of stop, she gets up and she says, I have a surprise for you. Stay here. Have you been bad? Uh, she closes the doors on the other side of the room. It says two doors with frosted glass. And Jay's like, fuck yeah, I have. Tiffany strips into a Santa-inspired bra and panties before walking back into the room. She's walking in, she says, I'm ready when you are, killer. But the room is empty. In the bathroom, she hears some noises. And then the door starts opening a little bit and she's like, okay, I'm not laughing anymore. You can't. And not quite. Jay jumps at a cupboard on the other side of the room and gives her a fright and just makes me want to hurt him. Just really bad. Just like punch him right in the dick. Tiffany says, you dick. And I'm saying to Tiffany, punch him in the dick. And not quite. Jay says, you should have seen your face. Classic. And Tiffany says, how did you get over here without me seeing you and not quite Jay says get over where and Tiffany says how and we're really we're drag the dialogue out here as much as possible because we need to make this movie fit so we have dumb conversations that don't make sense that people wouldn't do in real life she says how did you get from the bathroom to the other side of the bed without me seeing you and not quite Jay says I don't know what you're talking about I wasn't in the bathroom and that's the end of my five minutes. So we get a death in this one. The mayor dies via strangulation. It's a decent enough death. To be honest, it's surprisingly sedate for this movie, where the deaths are usually quite over the top and quite gory. Um, and he does love a string of lights. He does love a string of lights, does our Santa killer. Um, it's probably the best bit of this one. The dialogue between Not Quite Jay and Tiffany is fucking rank. Um... It's just terrible, terrible, cheesy, in joke, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Bad dialogue. People don't speak like this. So, there you go. Or if they do, I've never met them. Uh, so, yeah, that's my five minutes, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for checking out this episode of the podcast, Under the Stairs. We are releasing episodes every single day of this month from the 1st through to 24th before we take a couple of weeks off over the Christmas period. So... I know for a fact that there's another episode dropping tomorrow. So all I'm going to leave you with is I will speak to you next time.